Yeah, the property used to be a, um, a boathouse, so they stored boats in it to then take down to the sea. The property then became uh, somewhere that uh, people could stay. Uh, a horse and cart came past, they could stay in the boathouse years and years ago. Uh, it then went into disrepair, and of course now we've fixed it into what we think is one of the best holiday lets around. Hi, I'm Nikki, owner of the Boat House. In my spare time, I'm a mum of three little ones and I also teach Pilates. My name's Stephen Parry. I'm a, a very busy father of three. And my wife and I, Nikki, own the Boat House. I think when people go on holiday, they just want to have that sort of escape and it's a place you can just relax and, and, and have some privacy and enjoy, enjoy what you know, the sea and nature's got to offer us. So the goals with the, the boathouse was obviously um, keeping it aesthetically um, in keeping with the original structure. So it's a grade two listed building and we had to work within those parameters, but also Trotter Bay is an absolutely beautiful location. We wanted to be really sympathetic. We had a little experience of building before we started, but as with building, whenever you start something new, you, have, you face new challenges. So the design aesthetic was obviously keeping within the uh, property. From its colour palette all the way through to the, the steels that we used, we tried to keep it very, very natural. Biggest challenge for us on the conversion of the building was managing the builders. You know, we did this during COVID. We had two sets of builders with two different teams. We had to source windows from overseas. They were very difficult. The unique windows on the property um, were probably our biggest challenge as well. I've learned so much about windows. <laughs> and how big the window can actually be with how much load the window can take. Um, we needed to get a crane to actually lift the glass onto um, the, the, the main window pane on the, the structure. The building's listed, so we had to abide by all the strict guidelines. There were challenges everywhere, but they were kind of fun to, to overcome. The, the stone walls are, were made exactly how they were 500 years ago um, and they are actually hand rendered. So they throw the, the paint um, slash plaster onto the walls. Favorite bit to design was obviously the upstairs. The boathouse itself is all about the, the views and the window. So that was uh, just keeping it really nice and open plan so that you maximize wherever you were upstairs, you had the most breathtaking view. The most challenging part was actually uh, looking at how you worked out the, the wardrobes and the storage. I must admit, I'm, I'm really proud of our, our wardrobe and the, the master bedroom because it actually also is the headboard. Well, the most significant features of the boathouse, without doubt, are the views. You can see as far as Ireland, there's a bay in front of you. You can see the boats, the people, the beaches. It's a wonderful spot. Yeah, we decided to do holiday lets versus permanently letting out. I, I, we never really thought about letting it out permanently. I mean, we love holidays. We live, we've got three young kids. We like going on holiday in the UK. It just seemed a natural thing to do, to sort of welcome people for week-long stays. We don't do weekends, we just do weeks at a time. You get to meet some interesting people, you get you know good constructive feedback, you improve the building. People tend to take care of it um, on week-long stays. So for us, it was just always gonna be that. Um, I think the romance of doing a holiday let is sort of somewhat extinguished if you take on a permanent tenant. You know, then you become a landlord. We don't see ourselves as landlords. We see ourselves trying to give people nice holidays. It's a bit more fun doing it this way. Yeah, we went with an agency because we needed that infrastructure behind the property. You know, when you when you when you have a family uh, life to live as well, uh, we didn't want to have to take on all the customer customer admin. Uh, but also, you know, Sykes are better than me at marketing. Uh, they'll be better at dealing with customers than me. They're more informed about how to price it. You know, they collect the feedback constructively. Um, I feel you kind of need that. Yeah, I mean, look, North Wales, I think, is one of the best places on the planet. It's beautiful, the coastline is amazing, the sea is friendly in places, uh, albeit cold. Um, you can come to the boathouse here and do nothing. You can sit on the couch and look at the view for seven days, you'll feel relaxed, re rejuvenated, and you'll go home satisfied. Or you can come here, you can jump off cliffs, you can go canoeing, you can go water skiing, you can play golf, you can go to restaurants. You know, holidays are here to be made uh, on the basis of what people want to do. And the good thing is we have all that here. And in a place like the boathouse, you can do nothing and be happy or you can do loads and be happy.